cafe hopping today. It's happening. <laughs> so I saw this place on TikTok. I haven't done a cafe hopping thing in a bit, so let's go. So here it is. I'm personally very wary of overhyped cafes because there are also a lot of them in Korea, but this one, I did see the pictures and everything looked genuinely delicious, so I had to come check it out. And they were very cute, as you can see, very aesthetically pleasing. I love that the little desserts had different expressions, they all looked very different, and at the same time, they looked actually good, like they could taste good versus just look good, and that's very important to me because I take my desserts very seriously, so if they disappoint me, it's the end of it. I took a long time to pick out the proper expression I was feeling that day, which was this very cool cat right here. I think it's a cat. Might have been a bear. I don't know. The cafe actually has a couple floors. I went up to the third floor, which also has kind of an outdoor terrace space, which I think would be really nice in the springtime. But other than that, it was a little bit like one of those too cute to actually eat, but I had to do it at the end of the, of the day. And it was just basically like a chiffon cake, the one I chose with cream and some powdered sugar. It is very messy. Do not expect to look cute eating this, but it was my kind of dessert because it wasn't too sweet. It was pretty light and I enjoyed myself eating it. And the coffee I will say was also very good. Crushed it. I don't like maraschino cherries, so we're leaving that as is. And I left a cute little face. We're off to the next spot. I'm already really full, actually, from that cake. So, hope we're gonna see it. I actually don't know what they serve at this time. Well, it's a cafe, so I assume like desserts and coffee. So we're gonna, but we're there for the vibes. This cafe is known for vibes. Guys, I found a dog. He's just out here. I think the owner's right behind me. Oh, it's taking a poop. Let's <laughs> let it have its moment. <laughs> I found the little sign. You have to go in this alley. <laughs> Don't be scared. Oh, I see it. It's so easy to spot. It's blue. It says coffee and dessert on the second floor into the deep and terrace rooftop, third floor. It is very blue. Oh, it looks so cool. As you can tell, this cafe had a very clear theme happening and it was deep ocean. They also had a lot of interesting desserts. Unfortunately, I was pretty full already from the previous cafe, so I just got one small thing, but they have a bunch of different flavors you can try out here and they all looked very unique and colorful, which was cute. The first floor looked pretty normal, but then you go up to this next floor and you're really kind of in this deep ocean vibe. It was giving Little Mermaid and as if you lived in a tank that was thrown into the ocean. So if you don't like the color blue, this might not be the cafe for you, but for everyone else, I thought it was really cool. They had these jellyfish screens playing the entire time and the jellyfish changed color and it looks kind of realistic. Um, it just kind of looked like you were almost at an aquarium looking into a giant tank. So I thought that was really interesting. And then I tried to take a photo of my drink and dessert, but because my drink was blue and my dessert was blue and the room was blue, it didn't really come out very well. So you're just gonna have to imagine it for yourself. But um, I would say the drink was okay. The dessert was also fine, but definitely you're coming here for the vibes and the whole ambience of it all. But I did enjoy myself here for quite a while. So definitely a place to check out if you are nearby in Hongdae. It's a fun spot to be. Uh, they also have this rooftop section, which would be really nice in the spring and the summer. 
you have access to look at their rooftop which has so many pots but no plants <laughs> Not cafe related, but it was coincidentally near the last cafe and as I was passing by I decided to stop in and grab a light meal and get some vegetable intake in because obviously I just had some cakes and a coffee and like a sugary drink before so I really needed something to balance the, all of that sugar intake out. This is my go-to salad place whenever I'm in this neighborhood. I always get the beef bulgogi salad with a little bit of extra corn and then the oriental dressing. You can thank me later if beef bulgogi is not your thing. They also have a really good uh, salmon salad that I do recommend as well. But I like this place because you can customize and you can do what you can add extra and do whatever you want. I'm also, I don't know about you guys, but I'm the type to dump in all my dressing. I do not skimp on dressing. I think it just makes everything taste better. And I don't really care about the calories because I'm already eating a salad. So, you know, fight me. <laughs> but I usually find that if I'm in this area, I'm really tempted by so many desserts. There are so many great cafes in the Hongdae Yongnam area in Seoul. And there's always something to do. There's always a ton of people around as well. So having this spot is just nice to have in the back of my mind for when I'm here and I want something a little bit healthier or if I want to go light before a heavier dinner. All right, guys, that's it for me. I hope you liked today's vlog. It's been a minute, so I thought, you know, it would be nice to come back, but I will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.